Welcome to Align, Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda, and I'm going to be guiding you through your practice today. My daily scripture reading today took me to Isaiah 55, um, so I'm going to read us verses 1 and 5. Verse 1, Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy, and eat. Verse 5, Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that did not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. I was thinking about the radical call to accept everyone um, in, in the name of Christ, um, that, that Jesus loves each of us, calls every single one of us, no matter what our story is, no matter what our past is, you know, no matter who we have been or who we hope to be. Um, he uses the nation of Israel to call the Gentiles in, and, and the Jewish people were, were furious. Um, you know, the, much of the, the New Testament is letters from Paul that address the issues between the Jews and the Gentiles who all love Jesus and who were all um, struggling to live for him and worship him to the best of their ability. Um, I thought about Jesus and um, the way that he consistently reached out to the outsiders, even as his disciples or the Pharisees resented that and told him not to. Um, Jesus, come to the little children as, as his disciples wanted to send them away. Or um, Jesus, who wanted to heal Bartimaeus, even though the disciples wanted him to walk past. Um, Jesus, who healed the Canaanite women's um, daughter of her demons, even though um, he himself said he had come for the people of Israel and in that moment, not for the others. Um, so Jesus consistently steps out of the boundaries and reaches into the lives of those who are forgotten, who are lost, who are on the outside. And yet we in our human hearts so often refuse to do that. So today we are going to do um, and at just an opening process, we're going to open up the upper body, the back and the chest. And in that, um, I would invite you just to open yourself up to all the, the preconceptions and the misconceptions we have about who God loves and who God doesn't love. Because Jesus came so that everyone who thirsts can know the living water of Christ himself. And we are to be conduits of that. So thanks for joining me. Let's go. Today we're actually going to start lying down. So um, if you have two blocks, I'm going to invite you just to put them in a T, um, the top one kind of parallel to the edge of the mat, the other one long. If you instead have um, a blanket that you can roll up to support your spine, what we're going to do is we're going to rest on the block. So hips on the floor, okay, hips on the floor. Support your spine. So the block, or the blanket is running up the length of the spine, and the head is also supported. I'm going to use my hair piece here. Head is also supported on the block. So find something that is comfortable for you. Okay? If um, the block is too high, you know, maybe you lower it and, and just use a smaller book or something. Um, maybe you use towels or blankets or pillows or just something that can allow you to open up across the chest. You should feel no discomfort in the lower back here. Some of you will be comfortable bringing your legs straight and down on the mat. So as you stay here, stay there. I'm just gonna read to you from all along you were blooming. Remember, Remember, you are more than flesh and bones. You are a soul needing grace and salvation on the narrow journey to home. We stand tall in the high grass with wind in our backs and hope in our lungs. We belong in this life. There is a place for all of us here. By grace, there is a place for all of us here. Find breath. 
Notice the way that the body rises and falls with the breath. Open up the rib cage, create a little space with that inhale. Relax the body, grow heavy with the exhale. Inhale down the body, filling the lungs, the rib cage, then the diaphragm muscle and the abdomen. And exhale up the body. And as the body just settles into the blanket, the towel, the blocks, feel the body also soften and release. Notice where you might be holding on to tension. Or you feel a little tight today, give yourself permission to adjust your practice, to modify it. Maybe even right now you need to adjust the props just to find that place of release. Stay here for two more breaths. And just gently come over to that right forearm. Bend your knees if they're not already bent. And just slowly push up and come off of the blocks. Move the props towards the um, feet, towards the other edge of the mat. Come back onto the mat. Bring your knees in, give yourself a hug, just rock side to side. Just massaging out the muscles on either side of the spine. Gently bring the knees wide, hands underneath the thighs, bring the feet up. Keeping the knees bent, find happy babies. So maybe you are holding on at the thighs, the calves, the big toes, the outside edges of the feet. So wherever you are in Happy Baby, can you maintain a little bit of that curve of the spine? So that lower back curve is still in place. Back is in neutral position. So for some of us, that means that the legs are going to need to come a little bit further away from your body. That's okay. You just want to maintain that neutral position of the spine here. Gently bring the legs in together. Hands underneath the legs, roll up to sitting and back down. Again, just massaging out the back a few times. And as you're ready, come all the way up to sitting and stay here. Just begin to notice what's going on in those hips today. Go ahead and take your thumbs to the hip crease, press down into the hip crease as those legs release. Take a nice deep breath in, draw the arms all the way up, interlacing the fingers, extend the arms up, and then let those shoulders come down. So really tighten up through the core of the body, the rib cage drops and comes in, belly in towards the spine. From here, look up and down. And two more times. Stay connected to your breath, guiding movement with breath. As you're ready, let the hands come behind you. Gently tap through the fingers, let the spine grow long. Begin to open up across the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay here, begin to open up. Create space with breath. Taking a deep breath in, draw arms all the way up, hands to heart, bowing your head. And I would invite you to 
ask the Holy Spirit to guide your practice today. To let go of all of those preconceptions or misconceptions about who is worthy of the love of Jesus Christ. Kick down just to let go of all of those barriers between you and other people or between you and God today. Gently let the head rise. Bring that left leg behind the right. Walk your hands across. So kind of a gentle twist, but um, you're actually leaning a little bit forward at the hip. This um, left hip sit bone is off the ground. Fingers are wide. Gentle push up, just down and up to the mat. And begin to feel the stretch shoulder to shoulder, opening up across the pectoralis major. So, five little push ups. And just let the chest come down towards the mat. Engaging through the abdominal, stay here, breathe deeply here. And as you're ready, gently come up and release. Crossing the legs, go ahead and circle the hands, shake them out. Walk the fingers forward. Bring the head down, just finding stretch. Notice which leg is on the outside, um, which leg is in front of the other here. And can you begin to find a little bit of stretch in the outside of the hip of the front leg, whichever leg that is, as well as maybe an opening across the lower back. And then bring the palms up and the forearms in elbows towards each other and begin to open up the upper back. Let the head hang heavy. Can you find release shoulder to shoulder across the back? Can you breathe into the back of the body just a little bit more? Palms down, gently come. So now let's bring that right leg behind the left. Again, just walk the hands around in a circle. So as you come back towards the back of that mat, the um, arms are wide. Again, just dropping the chest down to about three inches from the floor, bringing it back. Wrists are high, resting on those fingertips. Five little push-ups. As you're ready, just come down, stay, so again, chest is just off that floor. Can you find that stretch all across the front of the chest, shoulder to shoulder? Breathe into it and create space. Gently come up and come to center. Bring the other leg in front as you cross your legs. It doesn't matter where you were before, just the other one this time. Again, thumbs to the hip crease. Just press into that hip crease. Let those knees come down. Take a breath here. Let the body relax. And then just let those fingers come forward. Forearms down, head drops. Can you find stretch in the outside of the hip of the front leg? If you want more stretch across that upper back, just consider palms up, elbows towards each other, head down. And in this pose of surrender, again, 
Just inviting the Holy Spirit to banish judgment, I don't know, envy, selfishness, jealousy, all the things, all the things that um, get in the way of us accepting other people. Gently pressing your hands down. Come up. This time, come all the way forward into table pose. Again, any um, blocks that you have, props towards the front of the mat. Hands spread wide, knees underneath the hips. Head smack through the tops of your feet. Press into the tops of your feet. Press into the palms of the hands, but Create a little space underneath the center of the palm, so you're pressing at the base of the first finger of the pinky, each side of the wrist. And from here, gently draw into cat, and into cat. Exhale into cat, contract through the abdominals, open up the back. Inhale into cow, draw the chest through the arms, gaze comes to the floor in front of the mat, find length in the abs. So again, just cat to cow two more times. As you're ready, meet me back at center. Taking a deep breath in, rise up to a kneeling mountain. From kneeling mountain, come into child. From child, rise up into cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale, kneeling mountain. Find as much length as you can, fingertips to knees. Exhale into child. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Two more times, kneeling mountain to child, cow to cat. Come all the way up. I'm just going to add to this. So, kneeling mountain to child. Cow to cat. Curling the toes under. Knees in, meet me in downward facing dog. So as you find this first downward facing dog, come into it easily, looking for this release and length in the back. Knees bent and begin to just pedal through your feet. Stretch out your feet, your calves. Inhale, heels rise. Exhale, heels fall. Stay in downward facing dog for three breaths and just explore it and find it. Hip crease reaching up to where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. Those heels drifting down towards the mat. Activate the muscles of the legs, the abs. Reach the fingertips forward. Inhale, meet me in plank. From plank, knees down to the mat. Come down in a low plank to the mat. 
and find sphinx pose, pressing through the forearms. Inhale up into sphinx, exhale out. Two more times here. So one more, come up into Sphinx and just stay there. Breathe into it, draw the belly in, let the rib cage draw down, fingers forward, feet to the tops of the mat, just press down. Exhale, release, and come back to kneeling mountain. And just creating a nice long flow here. Child, how to cat. Downward facing dog. To play. Down to the mat, to Sphinx. Let's go back to child, finishing child. So running through that flow one more time, kneeling mountain to child. How to cat. Take your time. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Find your way down to the mat. Sphinx pose, and child's pose. Meet me back in Kneeling Mountain. Hands to heart, right leg forward. Lean forward, find a little bit of stretch in the psoads of that back leg. Hips square to the front of the mat weight at the base of the big toe and in the tops of your feet in the back. Nice deep breath in, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Find your back bend here. Let's begin to open up. So maintain that stretch in front of the hip and the psoas. Find the back bend. Sweep the arms up and wide. Exhale, hands all the way down, either side of the foot, extend that back leg up. From here, press into that left hand at the center, bring that right arm up, find a twist. And today, take that hand to the small of the back, just lightly pressing in the sacrum bone there, just supporting it. And in that, maybe finding a little more opening. So that weight is still at the base of the big toe and that front foot. And that back heel, press back a little further. Inhale, let that arm rise. Stay here. Exhale, bring that arm overhead and reach, reach, reach in front of the mat. Inhale, the arm up. Exhale, unwind. Front foot to back. Meet me in downward facing dog. On that next inhale, find plank. From plank, drop the knees down, come to the mat, either a low plank or a grasshopper. This time, maybe finding low cobra. Then come in and out of low cobra. Sphinx is your option. If you're in low cobra, the elbows are drawing in towards each other, down towards the hips. 
Coming into low cobra, engaging through the abdominals, can you just float your hands? Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath here. And as you're ready, go ahead and press into the hands. Come back through child. And up to kneeling mountain. Hands to heart, left leg forward. And just finding a bit of a stretch in that psoas muscle. So this back hip is going to drop forward. Front knee stays right over the ankle. Weight is in the base of that big toe. Press the top of the foot, with that back foot, into the mat. That's going to take a little pressure off that kneecap. And you can use padding under your knees if your knees hurt. So adjust so that there's no pain. Yoga should always be a healing practice. Inhale, find your back bend here. Bring the arms up, bring them wide. Exhale, hands down to either side of the foot. Go ahead and raise up that back leg. Point. All ten toes towards the front edge of the mat. Press into that right arm. Bring that left arm up to the sky. And gently bring the palm down towards that sacrum bone. Just finding the twist here. And pressing in through the base of the big toe of the front leg. Pressing that back heel all the way to that wall behind you. Inhale, arm rises. Exhale, arm reaches, reaches, reaches towards the, beyond the front of the mat. And just sweep that arm back, hands to either side of that front foot. This time, bring the back foot up to meet the front. Knees deeply bent. Find this first forward fold. Shake your head up, no and yes. Lift and lower the hips a few times. Bring those feet to hip width apart, parallel to each other. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale down. Drop your hips, forearms to thighs. So start here with a flat back, and can we just do cat? and cow from here. So engage through the abdominals, round your back. Inhale, chest comes through the arms. Press the tailbone towards that back wall behind you. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cow. As you're ready, release. Meet me back at center, neutral position of the spine. Let those hands come down between your feet, rise all the way up, mountain pose, standing tall. Exhale, hands behind the head. Feet are still hip width apart. Staying here, keep the feet anchored, hips right above those feet. Upper body twist, twist towards the right, bring that right elbow up, that left elbow down. Maybe that left arm comes around into a bind. And release. Bring the hands forward, bent at the elbows. Take them out to the side. If you're holding two trays on your hands, exhale, hands to heart. Pressing the hands together, begin to engage the muscles of the back. Draw into that back. Arms rise up, bring them wide, and exhale, forward fold. And just notice where that forward fold goes. So bend the knees a little more if you need to. Again, looking for release in the back more than the hamstrings. Hamstring stretch is secondary here. Hands to shins, inhale, rise up. Way. Exhale, one belly back, then the other, find plank. For 
from plank, draw the knees down, come down to the mat. Inhale up. Find that low cobra. Exhale down. And meet me back, this time in downward facing dog. Can you find length from fingers to shoulders and shoulders to hips, hips to heels? Make the pose strong, engaging the muscles of the legs, the abs. I am length. Right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes through the hands. Back leg comes to warrior one. Angled slightly forward. Um, the back foot is at the outside edge of the mat. Rise high. So bring the arms out to the side. Coming into eagle arms, bring the right arm underneath the left. Elbows rise, shoulders drop, front knee over the ankle. I'm just kind of wrapping that back thigh around behind towards that wall behind you. A little extra weight in the outside edge of the back foot. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, come to back bend. Two more times here. So using eagle arms, again, to open up across the upper back. One more time. Move with your breath, crunch and extend with the abdominals. Stay in the back bend, arms rise high. Shoulders over hips, take those hands behind you if that works for your shoulders. If it doesn't, you can just hold on to your forearms or hands to your thighs. We're going to come into humble warrior here. So hips are facing forward. Hinge at the hip. Let the body drop straight down towards that mat. Shoulders square to the front edge of the mat. Let the head drop. Shake it out. Shake it out. Yes, yeah, shake it out. No, keep that front leg bent in the moment. And just looking for any release and length you can find across the chest. Engage through the abdominals. Gently, slowly lower those arms down. Unlace the fingers, hands to either side of that foot. Blocks, um, if that's best for you. Let's find a hamstring stretch here. So body is in an asymmetrical stance. That back foot is wide. So you need to keep your shoulders square to the front of the mat rather than over that front leg. So as you find your hamstring stretch, extend that front leg. Let the body come straight down. And shake your head out, yes and no. Find the hamstring stretch that's right for you. Go ahead and bend that front leg, let the arms rise up, hands to heart. Bring the back foot front to meet the front, you need to move that prop out of the way. Stay here for just a moment and check in, just noticing you know, how are the feet connected to the mat. Perhaps one side of the body feels a little longer. Maybe the sensations of release are different, one side to the other. Let those arms come down. Inhale up and wide. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins come up halfway. Exhale down. Find your plank. From plank, come down to the mat, however you choose to do that. Find the back bend of your choice. So maybe Sphinx, Low Cobra, maybe 
you've been practicing a while longer, you are in upward facing dog. Engaging through the abdominals, turn the toes under, draw the hips back, meet me in downward facing dog. Left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes through the hands. Back foot comes to warrior one, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down, bend those elbows forward, hands out to the side. Hands to heart, find your back bend here. And then arms rise and come out to the side, shoulders stacked, one on top of the other, left arm underneath right, eagle arms. So finding eagle arms, elbows rise, shoulder blades drop, rib cage and belly in, front knee over that ankle. Exhale, crunch the abdominals, bow down. Inhale, find your back. Two more times here. And then as you're ready, just bring those arms all the way up. See where that back bend takes you. Maybe squaring the hips again towards the front of that Back hip is starting to drift out to the side. And then exhale, hands down behind you. Again, just interlacing the fingers or supporting the back, bringing one hand in front of the other. That front leg stays back, body comes square, shoulder square to the front of the mat, folding over humble warrior. Shake your head up, no and yes. Breathe in, breathe out. As you're ready, release, those hands come down. Perhaps finding a block, beginning to straighten and bend that front leg, exploring stretch in the hamstring. And as you're ready, extend through that front leg. Let the body come down. So again, that leg is bent, effort with ease. So there's tension, but there's no shaking, there's no pulling. Can you let that head grow just a little heavier? And as you're ready, just bend that front leg back, knee over the ankle, move those blocks out of the way, back foot rises up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale down, this time walk those fingers forward, lift the heels, hips drop the heels. If that's not accessible to you, just come right into chair pose, that is where we're headed. Hands behind those pinky toes, press the feet flat into the mat, hips draw down, arms rise up, chair pose. Stay in a strong chair. Go ahead and take your hands to the tops of your hips, just gently nudge those hips away from the shoulders. Draw the rib cage in, belly in. Arms rise, stay here. One more breath here. Rise high. So stay here, interlace the fingers, bring the hands down. Just a neck release here. Press the hands into the back of the head, the head into the back of the hands. Keep that tension there. Keep that tension there. 
So there's traction, slowly let the chin come down towards the chest. The head is pressing up. And then as you're ready, slowly unlace the hands. Let the head just float up. Raise the right arm into a tricep stretch. And then bring that hand over to the opposite shoulder. Bring the opposite arm across, palm facing forward. Catch the elbow, or catch the fingers, and drop the elbow. So begin to find a stretch up and down the side of the body, perhaps also across the chest. And just consider lifting your gaze. It will change the stretch. Find what's right for you. As you're ready, release. Let those hands come down. Hands come all the way up and then to your heart. Interlace the fingers, bring them forward and up. Hands behind the head. Find the tricep stretch on the left side. Again, that elbow rising, gaze forward. Bring the hand across to the opposite shoulder blade. That other arm comes down to catch the fingers. You can use a towel here too. If um, that's more comfortable, more accessible for you, you just want to make the practice work for your body. And then as you're ready, you're just going to drop that lower shoulder. And consider perhaps looking up again. That will change the stretch. Can you find a deep breath here? As you're ready, release. And let those hands come down. Shake everything out. It's finding a bit of balance today. We're going to go into dancer pose. So I'm going to show it to you from the side here. Step into your right foot. That left foot comes up into a quadricep stretch. So my hand is on the outside of the foot. My knees are um, to together so um, my front knee is not my left knee is not out to the side to counterbalance that right hand comes forward maybe connecting thumb and forefinger for a little extra balance press that back foot into the hand begin to find that quadricep stretch so the hip is coming forward the foot is going back and then just gradually you're just pressing 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 and that leg rises high and then eventually, maybe, you start hinging forward at the hip, finding the pose that's right for you. And as you're ready, come out of it. And shake it out. Other side. Stepping into the left foot. That right leg comes up. So again, knees are even here. <clears throat> making sure that, you know, sometimes we have a tendency to kind of draw this um, left leg out to the side, right leg out to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. But just drawing the belly in here. That opposite arm comes forward to counterbalance. Find the traction as the foot presses into the hand, the hand presses into the foot. Hip points reach forward and up. Use those abdominals for support. Back foot rises, rises, reaches, reaches, reaches. Finally, maybe coming forward, hinging at the hips, breathing in, breathing out. And as you're ready, release and shake it out. Deep breath in, hands rise high. Exhale, hands to heart. Stay here and check. Can you slow your heart rate down as you slow your exhale down? Two more times here. You're ready, nice deep breath in, arms rise, exhale, forward fold. Final forward fold of the practice. So 
So maybe one time, just bend those knees, drop the hips, then extend the hips up, and find the fold. Bring the forearms behind the calves. So the hands are pressing um, at the back of the ankles, forearms against the calf muscles. Begin to press the legs back and the arms forward. As the head comes down, this opens up the upper back. Can you find a little more length in your spine with the exhale? One more breath here. Let the hands just come down to the front. One breath here. Hands to shins, rise up half. Inhale, exhale down, find your plank. From your plank, come all the way down to the mat. Take the legs a little wide. Take the hands either to support the lower back or interlacing the fingers, just finding the same back bend we've been doing here from the floor. So engage the muscles of the leg, press the feet down, just bring that collarbone forward, gently one rib at a time, rise up. Just see where that takes you. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, release. Bring the hands to the rib cage, feet hip width apart. Come up to table and stay in table for two breaths. As you find neutral position of the spine, just kind of notice the muscles across the back, the muscles across the abdominals. Maybe finding a little more length, a little more release than when you started today. And then as you're ready, gently draw the hips back and find child's pose. Pressing into your hands, come up. Come up to sitting, bring your feet in front of you. Bring a block underneath your knees, and I would invite you to do this even if you are very flexible. Go ahead and maybe, if you're not as flexible, maybe even raising that block up a little bit. Hands to hip crease. Find your sitting bones, press into the hip creases, spine nice and straight, flex your feet, activate your legs, begin to lean forward just into the rib cage, up to the thighs. Bring the hands forward, forearms to the shins, hands to the feet, or if, you know, if it's better for your back, you can place your hands on the floor. But if your arms are bent and if your arms are at your legs, as you hold on to your feet or your ankles or wherever you are, imagine the elbows drawing back towards the body. Find breath. One more breath here. And release. Hands will come to the mat. Gently come up. Move that block out of the way. Feet bent, come down to the mat. So hands um, down at your side. Let the shoulder blades settle heavy on the mat. Press into the feet and begin to find your bridge pose. So slowly lifting up. Use the quadricep muscles of the legs to guide those hips up. Come up one vertebra at a time if you can. All the way up into that bridge. And then exhale and come down. So two more times here. 
lift up and to bridge. Can you articulate through each individual vertebra? And if you can't, it is okay. Exhale down. One more time, coming all the way up. This time when you come up, stay up. So weight is on the feet and the shoulder blades. Imagine the heels drawing in towards the shoulders, shoulders drawing towards heels, hip points rising high. Just imagine that you have cables connecting you from the ceiling to your hips and those cables are drawing you up. Find your own range of motion here. Just slowly come down and out of it. As your back settles into the mat, stay there for two breaths. Let the back come into a more neutral position. Just notice the way that it feels. And then bring that block underneath the back for a supported bridge. So it is under the sacrum bone. Maybe it is flat. Maybe it is up. And I would invite you today to also consider the orientation of the block. So maybe the block is wide, hip bone to hip bone. Maybe it is narrow, kind of coming up um, vertically in alignment with the spine. So either way, you are still fully on the sacrum bone. But you'll notice a difference in sensation in the hips and back, depending on the orientation of the block. So find the release that's right for you. Settle into the pose with breath. The edges of the body grow soft. Feel the muscles of the chest lengthen and release. Allow any barriers between and God, or you and loving others, release and just drain out that lower back into that block. You do not need to carry that anymore. As you're ready, press into your feet. Engaging through the abdominals, lift up just a bit. Remove that block, come down one vertebra at a time. Again, settle for a breath. Don't change anything, just let the back settle into the mat. Let the body release. And then hands to knees, gently bring the knees into the rib cage and away from the legs. So just Pump back and forth here. Let those feet come to the mat. Extend the legs, extend the arms. Maybe turn the head side to side. And as you're ready, just settle at center and find length here. So 
I am going to read what I read earlier as we began our practice. We're going to end as we began it. Remember, remember, you are more than flesh and bones. You are a soul needing grace and salvation on the narrow journey home. We stand tall in the high grass with wind on our backs and hope in our lungs. We belong in this life. There is a place for all of us here. By grace, there is a place for all of us here. Continue breathing deeply and evenly, and I will bring you out of Shavasana in a couple of minutes. Gently bring yourself back to the mat. Reconnect with your breath. Notice the way that the body has settled into the mat. Begin to bring movement back. Let's wiggle fingers and toes. And rotate wrists and ankles and turn your head side to side. Taking a deep breath in, draw arms all the way up and overhead and just reach and reach and reach and reach and reach. And as you exhale, draw your knees in, roll over onto your side and take a couple of breaths there. On that next inhale, press into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. Find your sitting bones. Checking in here, which we haven't done yet today. We're just kind of noticing the way the body feels. Checking in, mental state. Again, just opening yourself up to all of the people that God would have you show the love of Christ to. Taking a 
deep breath in, arms rise high, exhale, hands to heart, joining me in prayer. Holy God, we confess that we see too often with human eyes. We assign labels, too young, too sick, sinner, bad choices, all the things. We confess that sometimes we apply those labels to ourselves as well. So Lord, we invite the work of your spirit into our lives. Give us a new heart. Help us to see and love with your heart. Drawing all into your love through the grace, the mercy, the sacrifice of Jesus our King. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.